Hi, welcome to another video tutorial on how to convert your WordPress website into Android and iOS app. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to prevent the app from exiting when, when somebody um, presses the back button. Okay, so for instance, let me open this product. Okay, so I'm currently on this page. Um, as you can see, there is a previous um, screen before this screen, okay? So if I press the back button, the app should be able to go back to the previous screen um, instead of exiting. So let's see, let's press on the back button. Okay, so the app has the uh, app has um, exited. Okay, so that's not the right thing to do. Okay, so that is not the right, um, the app shouldn't um, exit when somebody presses the back button. So we, I'm going to show you in this video how to uh, prevent that from happening. Okay, so what we are going to do right now um, is that we already in the first um, series of this um, tutorial, we actually um converted our website into android and ios app using the in-app web view uh package that's the flutter in-app web view uh package you, you should check that video out and watch that video okay so you can start from there if you haven't done this okay or uh, all right so all right so now i'm going to scroll down to this is my web view underscore screen dot that. All right. So just under where I declare my variables. Okay. So yeah. Now for me to be able to do this, we are going to use the wheel pop scope. Okay. So that's what um, widget. So that's what we are going to do. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to press enter. Okay. Then I'm going to say feature. feature and then it's going to be a bool all right so yeah i'm going to create a class that's going to be go back and then inside this um, class i'm going to say uh, build contest and it's going to be contests okay all right so um just outside that then i'm going to use the async and then I'm going to open this open and close coily braces. All right, so don't bother about this error. Um, we are going to fix it. Okay, so I'm going to say if so, we are going to use a condition right there to um, check if somebody has pressed the back button and if there is a previous screen that the app can't go to, then the app should go to that screen. Okay, so but if the are no uh, previous screens that the app can go to then the app can exit okay so that is the conditions that we want to um, implement right here so i'm going to say um, if and then await okay web view controller dot can go back then i'm going to open this open up and, and close curly braces then i'm going to say web view controller dot go back okay all right so next um i'm going to return feature okay so i'm going to take this out we don't need it so it's going to be future dot value and then here yeah, is going to be false okay it's going to be false all right so inside here we are going to say else so these are conditional statements to determine if there's a previous screen that the app can't go back to so um here yeah, i'm going to say system uh navigator dot dot pop okay and we are going to return feature okay let's take this out we don't need that so keep on appearing yeah i'm gonna say feature 
dot value so this time it's going to be that okay all right so we have been able to create this uh, class that's the underscore go back class so we are going to call it right inside the uh, body property okay so um for we to do that for we to do that we are going to wrap this column this column with a wheel pop scope widget okay so just double tap on it like this then hover your mouse on this uh this light bulb okay then wrap with widgets okay so for this we are going to start typing wheel pop scope all right so for this uh i have an error somewhere you say add required argument on wheel pop okay so we are going to do that um i'm going to say on wheel pop and then it's going to be an empty but an arrow function okay then here i'm going to say underscore can go back okay so it is going to take the contest all right so that is it so i'm going to save this so the app is going to reload the app is going to reload so what i'm going to do next is we are going to test it if it's going to work all right so here i'm going to click on any product you know, scroll down like this scroll down okay so this product and then um let's see i'm going to click on add to cart so after this then i'm going to go to checkout okay so we are on checkout so now let's press the back button yeah so there's a previous screen the app has gone back to I'm, 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 I'm going to press the back button again so it has taken us back to the home page so now you can see that it's working perfectly well okay so we are on the home page so from here there's no previous screen so the app is permitted to exit so when i click on the back button again then it is fine the app should exit so if you like the video click on the like button you can also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that and then click on the notification bell thank you so much for watching goodbye for now in our next video in this series of how to convert your web your wordpress website into android and ios app i'm going to show you how to implement the pool to refresh okay so i'm going to show you how to implement the pool to refresh and then after that video i'm going to also show you in the next um, episode i'm going to show you how to um, implement the progress indicator okay so when the app is loading you will see a progress indicator loading to show you that the app is loading okay okay so um in our next series um in this uh